Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to replace a UPVC double glazing window. And for this um, task, you need the right tools. So as you can see, I'm using a flat, uh, thin scraper, but it has to be a hard, a hard uh, plate one uh, with a rubber mallet. That's the most important part: the rubber mallet and the flat scraper. So as you can see, I'm taking the beads off. So you always take the longest beads off first on the left and right, going upwards, which is your vertical ones and then you take your horizontal ones off. Well, it, it can vary by window. Uh, this one, the angle ones on the side and then the, the straight ones at the bottom. So can you see, so you got to make sure you don't damage the UPVC window, the plastic, so you just got to make sure that that scraper, as you're pulling it, you're applying uh, gradual, gradual um, pressure and not being too forceful. Okay, so as you can see, I'm now doing the right hand side. Um, same thing, you know, hit it, not dirt it too hard, just as a pressure. And, and, and as soon as you see the gap, then you, you can start opening up the bead. It can be difficult sometimes, especially with this window being fairly new. I mean, it's only three to four years old, so it can be, you know, quite um, difficult to get out. But, you know, with persistence, you'll get there. There you go, can you see the gap? So the gap's appearing now, so you just gradually start opening the rest of it and then it will come out. Okay, so another key point is when you're taking these off, make sure you keep the right hand side separate, you know, left and right, they can, they can vary, so just put it in the right place where you know it's going to be in the same position. Okay, so the bottom one's coming off now. So you can see it's a straight piece, there's no angle cut. This one, so the bottom and the top ones are straight. And then look, it's just, it, that will come out, and then the top one, and then, and then you just pull the window back. So now I get the, the new glass and the way I measure the new glass is I always take the measurement from the end to end and then minus uh, 5 or 6 mil on both sides. And key point now is make sure the packing is in place at the bottom. You know, you got to make sure you leave that gap because obviously your window doesn't go too low. You're just going to make sure it's a gradual gap all the way around. Uh, so I just got to make sure it's level as well. And um, 
So when, when you're pushing it back, just check the gaps is on each side, because once you put those beads in, it won't move. So as you place it, it'll stay like that. Yeah. Because it's not opening window, it's a fixed window. You know, it's um, it's f it'll be fairly secure once you put those pieces in the, on the bottom. Okay, so put the straight ones first, the bottom ones. Nice little tap with the rubber mallet. You know, don't go crazy with hitting it. Just you know, a little tap, and you'll click into place. So the rubber side being on the window, and the plastic side um, the angle bit going into the actual frame. Seriously, it's not hard at all. You know, I always say this: if I can do it, then anyone can do it. You see it? So it's that's why it's quite important to have a you know a thin uh, rubber mallet. Imagine using a camera on that, you'll leave, you'll leave marks on it and uh, you can potentially break the glass. Whereas rubber will absorb all the impact. So when you're putting the long pieces in, can you see, you put the corners in first, top and bottom, and then you hit the middle. Because you want to make sure it bends and fits in on each corner before you put the middle back in. Okay, and getting the left one now. Same thing, the rubber against the window and the plastic part against the frame. Nice little tap, top and bottom, and it'll go in nicely. There you go, hit it nicely there, that's it. Nice little tap, and that's it, it's all done. And um, so now it's just a matter of taking the labels off any, any and, and give it a nice little clean. You know, so make sure you leave, you know, the clean it, no marks left on the window, outside, inside. Spray a bit of cleaner on there. Give it a little wipe. You know, you got to make sure it's a professional job. You can't just leave the window uh, with all the marks on there and walk away. Yeah, you know, so um, you know, any, uh, you know, it's not just uh, WGS windows. If you look at the channel, Andy Singh, uh, you'll see electrical, plumbing. Uh, so make sure you guys subscribe. You know, if, if you enjoyed watching this video and uh, and hopefully have helped you out, uh, you know, try it yourself DIY. That's what I encourage. Uh, you, you know, you save yourself a bit of money. And uh, main thing is you build your confidence, really. And that's that's what I've done. I'm not a professional. I just I've learnt it myself as well. So. So subscribe to my channel and you'll see some more hints and tips on other videos as well. There you go, nice little shine. Perfect. Alright, take it guys, bye bye.